Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. About to be breaking your balls over here. I'm ah, talking basketballs, indoor basketballs. Um, outdoor basketballs is a whole different beast. Indoor, there's a lot of good basketballs. Um, there's also a lot of like cheap, cheap, shitty ones. Um, and those will do, but like if you're really trying to hoop and spend some money, uh, you're gonna want to get a good ball, you know. Um, so you know the little noob like twenty dollar Costco balls, ball. Costco balls, <laughs> like just don't even go there. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um, and the other thing is write your name on your ball when you get it, because people will be stealing. Yes. Uh, but let's take a look. We're, this is a 2.0. We did this video before quite a while ago, um, but some new balls have come out. Um, new so we're balls. gonna. Yeah, so we're gonna compare these with with everything and kind of break down some of the best uh, in our opinion and kind of say what our favorites are as far as indoor basketballs. Yes. So Can we start with like an old one. Sure. Yeah, this is pretty old. Start with that. All right. So here is the Wilson Evolution. We just call it the Evo. Uh, this is the official official basketball for twenty four hour fitness, and it's it's certified NCAA. So it says yeah. on Dick's Sporting Goods. Really? Yeah, so I guess in the NCAA. What, what? I don't think they use it in any yeah, colleges. I don't think so. It's more of a high school ball. Yeah. Um, but this feels super nice. Uh, super very nice. soft. And just, yeah, the feeling is just super soft. That's why I feel like a lot of people like it. It's not rough. And it's pretty grippy. Uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 when it gets wet, though, it does slip a little bit. You know, yes. you, everyone's sweating and shit. So you do have to wipe off that sweat before you um, start dribbling again. But other than that, yeah, it feels super nice. Uh, durability wise, uh, I've had this ball for like a couple years. Yeah, it's, they're it's, pretty durable. It's pretty durable. Um, it, it, it looks pretty old though. Like yeah, it, but know. it is pretty. I mean, we put hours on, yeah. on these. Um, but another thing is, uh, is you do need to break it in somewhere. I mean, it's, it's good out the box, but like, you know, you still need some hours in it to get the full um softness of this composite leather yeah you know what i mean um it comes but, in at what 60 bucks yeah it's well you can get them cheaper like 40 bucks, bucks maybe yeah. 50 bucks on amazon at times walmart yeah, yeah so uh but this is a classic ball it's great uh you cannot go wrong the weight of the ball is uh 21 ounces 21.09 um, all right moving on yep uh let's take a look at another old ball this is the official NCAA ball. Okay, there's there's another there's a lot of different versions. They downgrade and, and it's like a it's like a knockoff version of their own ball. Yeah, it um, doesn't feel too good. You usually know if you're getting a high quality ball by the price. They're usually upwards of 40, 50, 60 dollars. Um, this one is about 50 or 60, might even be close to 70. Really? And yeah. This this ball is expensive. I mean, this is the official uh, the official game ball. You know, official college game ball in most. Um, scenarios so it doesn't feel it's like I mean it feels okay but I, I feel like the evil is like softer has a nice feeling it to is it. The, the difference here is is um, so this is called the solution the uh, Wilson solution um, the difference here is it's very 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 sticky mm. when you get it out the box it's super sticky really? um, like another ball we're gonna talk about in a minute but the other advantage of this ball is it absorbs sweat really well mm. really well and you know, you're not gonna start slipping when you know when it gets sweaty and you go to. How's that traction? Yeah, this traction <laughs> is a ten out of ten. Oh damn! Um, so that's the deal with this. But the one of the downsides of this is it's the durability is not great. Really? You see this? It's just like dirty and it starts to get dusty. And um, I feel like I put more hours on an Evo and it's and and they hold up in better shape. You know what I mean? But it's it's a very good ball and it is a little bit expensive. So moving on to the next ball, of course, is just an. Nike Championship Airlock Elite Ball, mm -hmm. and I've had this for a long ass time. Um, it just it feels nice. It's not the softest, but it, it gets the job done. It's pretty grippy, um, but yeah. How much? How much does the NCAA weigh? Twenty one point two zero. Twenty one point two zero. This is this feels the heaviest mm -hmm. when we're playing. It so feels big and it feels heavy. Yes. Let's see if we're tripping. 21.62 ounces. Yeah, it's a little heavier. Like 0.5 ounces. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, I, I, I'll, another thing I like about this ball is the airlock system, where I never have, I, I don't remember ever pumping this yeah. ball. Yeah. Ever. You know, and my Evo, dude. You want to see my Evo? You, you want to see how flat this shit is? I have to pump this shit up like every single day. That's how. No, not every day, but like a lot. Um, this one I never pump up. It's, mm -hmm. It just 
it retains the air and it feels uh, very bouncy, you know, it doesn't get flat or anything like that. So uh, this one's also about 60 bucks, right? I think it's like 80 bucks. Dude. Yeah, it might even be 70 I think this bucks. This one was like 70, 80 bucks. Yeah. Um, but there's this. Not a bad ball. Um, let's take a look at uh, all, all, the most expensive ball here. Actually, it's not the most expensive ball we have here. No. But this is uh, this is the gold standard in basketball. This is the official NBA game ball. Spalding. Um, Spalding, 100% genuine leather. It feels so shitty, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it feels I so mean, shitty. It, it feels like, uh, I remember when Donnie Boy got this and then we were like, oh, let's play and stuff like that. And then um, there were people, and then the people were like, dude, this ball sucks. Why are we using it? Dude, Everyone was like, like what is that? Official NBA were like, ball, dude. Damn, what, is, what the hell is yeah. it? It almost feels like it feels, cheap. Yeah, it feels cheap. But it's weird. But um, so when you first get it, it's super rough and you have to break it in for a while. Okay, and uh, it takes, I mean, weeks to break it in. It depends on how much you play, it could take a month. Um, but once you break it in, it does get a lot nicer. Um, the thing about this ball is it, it does feel a little big. It's also very hard. Um, and there's also not a lot of like... Um, Grip. Well, there's not a lot of like bump. You mm. know what I mean? It's, it's not like puffy. And there, there's not a lot of uh, lip right here in, in, the, um, in the groove. So I don't know. Obviously, NBA people love it. A lot of people love this ball. There's something definitely uh, good about it, but it's a very, very high level ball. Uh, another thing about this ball is it is the best ball here in regards to sweat. The more sweat, the more grippy it gets. That's why the NBA players lick their, exactly. which is disgusting. Yeah. But, you know. You got to do what you got to do. Steve Nash, I mean, that fool's doing that all that's game. That's nasty. He dude. used to, you know, but... um. So that's another reason why this ball is really, really good. Uh, it, it, the durability is also not great. Um, y you see it? It just looks like... Yeah. Um, I feel like, it, especially if you play on more of a dusty court, um, the dust starts to get on it. It starts to really wear on the leather. And it does reach a point that it's kind of done. But, but one thing is that also when dust gets on it, it's get, yeah. it starts to get slippery. So For you sure. Need, you need to keep it wet. Which kind of sucks, but yeah. The NBA ball is 20.74. Yeah, it actually feels a little light. Fitting this. But it's kind of big and, and tough. All right, it's a well, grown man ball. <laughs> Moving on to uh, the next one is my favorite ball out of all of these. And it's because it's so grippy. Uh, no matter how dusty it is, it's, you're, you're not going to lose any grip. And um, even if it's uh, sweaty or if it gets wet, you're not really gonna lose any grip, and it's just tacky. It, uh, it does come in at sixty-five bucks. Um, yeah. I feel like you can get some sales or discounts for a little bit cheaper, but that is the price, and it's, it's fairly new. So, um, but yeah, this is my favorite ball to play with. Another couple balls to talk about. Um, this ball was sent to us. This is the by season. This is the creator, and um, it's a very nice ball. Very nice. Very similar to the Evo. Very similar. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, just a just an overall good ball also has cool looks there's different colors you can do um price on that is what i think it's like 80 bucks 80 bucks very expensive very comparable to the evo yes um and but just has a kind of different feel feels a little heavier a little um harder um obviously depending on how much you inflate it but uh the weight on these is 21.16 for the elite or the um hyper elite, elite. yeah Crater is 20.74. Um, another ball we have here is this Wilson Connect ball. Um, it feels the shittiest. Yeah, right? it's definitely the shittiest out of out of these. It's also the most expensive. Um, <laughs> but the reason for that is it has uh, you know technology inside. It uh, connects to your phone so it can track shots. Um, and it's it, really cool because it knows when you make the shot. It's yeah. just really crazy. So it keeps track of your percentage, you know, your shooting percentage. Yeah. You can do free throw, you can do threes. Um, one thing it doesn't have, which I wish it did, was like, you know, tracking arc, tracking backspin, you know what I mean? Maybe giving you pointers on your shot where you're making mistakes, release point. Uh, maybe that's a little bit too crazy. I don't know. But, you know, for that price, it's just keeping track of How your much shot. How this? 200 or something? It's like 200 bucks. What? But, I mean, and then the ball itself is like not super nice. It feels like a $20 ball, yeah. to be honest. 
you know like and it, it's not like super bouncy or anything yeah. like that it's just a shooting ball i i feel like yeah um so for that purpose it's good but for like just the yeah. playing and stuff i wouldn't really recommend it, it doesn't feel too good but in do indoor everyday use our favorite balls are mine probably still is the evo um i need more time with this nike um but see i like the evo because it's just a 24-hour ball so you just Everyone if, if you just practice with it um, you know, when you go to play a game, it's the same ball. You don't have to switch balls. Everyone it's always, has it. it's always nice. Yeah, but um, I've, I've been playing with this one, and everyone's like, "Dude, I love it." Yeah. Um. So the grip on this is insane. Um. So probably the best this one, and of course the Evo. Um. Another uh, shout out to uh, and the creator's not bad either. Uh, another shout out to this ball. It's a uh, this is one of my favorite balls uh, actually too. But it has a very short not very short life but of you know there's a certain point in its life that it's just incredible um you know not right out of the box you got to break it in just a little bit and then once you break it in um it's beautiful super sticky absorbs sweat um, but then it starts to lose that a little bit and then um i feel like the wilson uh, evo lasts a little bit longer and this is probably gonna last longer too yep um so that's a quick breakdown uh, not too quick actually but in-depth breakdown of the best indoor basketballs Hope we helped you guys out. Let us know your favorite ball to hoop in. There's also the TF-1000 um, I've played in. Mol molten or whatever? The yeah, there's the Molten, yeah. um, the EuroLeague balls. We've tried most of those. I've, I've tried all the um, Molten balls too. Those are super nice as they well. They nice, yeah, very soft. But, but uh, we just don't need all the balls. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but anyways, that's it. Hope we helped you guys out. We'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.